Hey guys, it's Hannah and welcome back to the Dyslexic Reader. Today we are going to be doing the Jurassic Park book tag. I was tagged by Sue over at Sue's Book Nook. I'll tag her channel down below. You should uh, definitely go and check her out. Some super cool content over there. But we're just going to get right starting with the video. <laughs> What's your favourite dinosaur? For this I had to go with what's on my t-shirt. The T-Rex. Because you know, who doesn't love a good cup of tea? <laughs> uh, question two. Alan Grant, name a Jurassic book, uh, name a book character you think could survive Jurassic Park. For this I went from Miss Frisbee, from Miss Frisbee and the Rats of Nim, mostly because she's a mouse and like no dinosaur's gonna be bothered about a little mouse like run like they're never a gonna be able to catch it and two they're not gonna wanna catch it and eat it because it's a little mouse. I think Mrs. Frisbee would survive. Um Ellie Sattler, name a character who is willing to risk their lives to save others. I had a hard time with this one because the only character I could think of was Harry Potter, but I'm trying to ban Harry Potter from the question y videos because I feel like that could literally be the answer to anything. So I went from Adam from The Raven Boys. I just finished this and really liked it. And he sort of, without any spoilers, um, does something quite heroic at the end. But maybe a bit of, what's the word? Selfishness nearly in the sacrifice. But it's, it's there nonetheless. Looking at my bookshelf, it's the only one I could see. Question four, A. Malcolm, a book that you could predict the ending. For this, it's not this particular book, it's just most mysteries. I have read so many mysteries, watched so many Midsummer Murders, every single episode of Murder, She Wrote, like, I find it really hard to find a mystery where I can't predict the ending um, anymore. So if I can't work out the ending of like a mystery or like some sort of like crime drama, um you know it's good. So most mysteries I nearly always get the ending at least by halfway. Dennis Nedry, a character or characters who's willing to put themselves in danger for their own benefit. For this I chose Howl from Howl's Moving Castle. Not coming near the end of the book, kind of has a bit of a personality change. But at the start of the book he's definitely just like, yeah, I don't care about anyone else. Completely vain, breaks people's hearts just because he enjoys it and yeah, I could see Harl throwing someone under a bus for his own benefit, definitely. T-Rex, a book you find intimidating but ended up loving. For that, I chose Dante's The Inferno. Um, it's for such a small book. This book terrified me. But it's been on my reading list forever and I really enjoyed it. Like it took me many, many hours in Starbucks, <laughs> many, many drinks with a pencil, like taking notes, working all this out. It scared me, but I managed to do it. Um, don't know if you all know about Gilmore Girls, probably the best TV show of all time. There is such a thing, if you Google it, the Rory Gilmore book challenge and it takes all the books that Rory Gilmore ever mentioned in the whole of the series and there's just a list of them. Um, some of them are really heavy, some of them I will never get round to because I'm just not interested in the subject matter but I have them all printed out um, somewhere and I like to every year at least take a couple of them off um, and this was one of the reasons that sort of motivated me. I always wanted to read um, Dante but uh, this is sort of what motivated me. It scared the bejesus out of me, but I, I ended up really enjoying it. Not something that I'm rushing to reread though. I don't think it'll be any easier the second time around. Question eight, Velociraptor, a book that is fast paced. Um, I'm gonna say Percy Jackson and The Last Olympian. Pretty much all the Percy Jackson books are fast paced. Um, I normally don't like that as much in a book but in the Percy Jackson series it was done so well like this whole book which is quite a chunk of a book 
um, takes place in like two days like it's literally everything and it's constantly like explosions running here running there finding this guy oh no there's help needs over there like it's just running about and it's absolutely manic and normally I hate it but in this book I loved it so that's why I decided to pick this one in particular question nine are we on a uh, pterodactyl a book that flew you to another world easily Harry Potter could fit this one too but we're banning Harry Potter um, and that is the series of unfortunate events this was like the first book series that I was like invested in where I was like knew the next one was coming out and was like trying to get it like after I read the first one I was hooked um I'm pretty sure when I read this as a child I pretty co much convinced myself that I was like an orphan who knew of a secret society and was having to like take like I'm pretty sure I convinced myself in my head that I was an orphan who was some way and connected to VFD just you know my parents were lying to me so that's why I chose this book I missed one out which was Brachiosaurus a book that took you a long time to finish I really struggle with this because I don't tend to remember like how long it took me to read books I haven't been reading good reads using good reads properly for that long so I can't really even look back and see if there was like a massive chunk Um, I don't tend to read big books it's just I don't enjoy long books I much I would much rather read two short books than a long book um so I just went for the chunkiest book on my shelf which was the order of the phoenix I know we said no Harry Potter but look at the size of this thing so just going off sheer size this is the biggest book on my shelf so I'm guessing it took me the longest question 10 triceratops tag piece three people to do this tag I don't like Hanging people I don't know who has done this who hasn't done this so I'm just gonna tag anyone who's watching like I do tags all the time and I'm not necessarily tagged I was tagged for this one but I'm not always tagged for my tag videos and I think you know it's your channel if you want to do this tag you do the tag I hope you're all happy I hope you're all healthy and I'll see you all in my next video bye